All convoy elements, give me a red con status. In sequence starting with Charlie 1. Charlie 1, red con 1. Charlie 2, red con 1. Charlie 3, red con 1. 4, red con 1. Charlie 5, red con 1. Roger, good copy. All convoy elements are red con 1. 1, go ahead and take us out. Hey, soldiers. Welcome from the Motor Transport Operator course. This video is a tool to give you a better visual example of some of the things your instructors will be going over and teaching you for this detrimental skill. A skill that will help you in many possible areas of your life, ranging from the hundreds of military variations of trailers you may pull throughout your military career, to the ones for civilian, commercial use, which is a prime transition opportunity from the uniform to another career with great advancement opportunity. You could even use your skill to pull things such as recreational trailers like campers, boats, flatbeds, so even if you wanted to save a few dollars during your PCS move. The TLO covers your task, condition, and standards so that you know what you need to do to be successful. Begin with a 360 safety walk around, checking up, down, and around the truck. Don't forget the chalk block and drip pan. Check that the master power is on. Use three points of contact to get into the vehicle. And adjust the seat so that the heel of your foot maintains firmly against the ground while driving to prevent the brake being bounced on while stopping. Put your seatbelt on. Start the truck and adjust the steering wheel as necessary. Comfort is key in being successful during this task. The standard is simple. The 10 minute time allowance begins when the vehicle is in motion. Pull forward and to the cone on the far left of the backing lane. Ensure your position to where you do not hit the cone. The cone should be on the driver's side of the truck and next to the bumper, just like so. Always honk the city horn twice or the air horn once if the city horn doesn't work before beginning to back up. You cannot drive on any of the boundary lines. No part of the truck can contact a cone in any way, and no safety violations can be conducted as judged by your instructor by unit standards. The time ends when the entire truck and trailer are in the alley dock lane and you pull the park brakes. You must have the rear of the bumper inside the stop box area to be considered a go for the task and not exceed the 10 minute time standard while doing it. Backing is a perishable skill. The longer you go without practicing it, the less proficient you'll become. It's important to keep this skill and practice with as many types of trailers as possible because during a mission task, you may be parking between two pieces of equipment, between two walls, or in tight spaces by other objects you don't want to hit or cause damage to, instead of just the two lines and practice cones you're using now. The more proficient you become, the faster and safer you can conduct the task. Imagine going to the local store and having to wait 10 minutes for a large truck in your way to back in and park. Wouldn't make you or I a very happy customer. Knowing how to identify reference points at the rear of the trailer helps you get closer to the alley dock ramp so that personnel loading onto the trailer can safely move forklifts, vehicles, and pallet jacks from the ramp onto your trailer. Even while ground guiding, you will need to know how to communicate to the driver so the trailer goes the intended direction. Now let's dive into how angles between the truck and trailer makes it work. Center of axis is just a fancy way of saying, imagine a line going straight down the side of the truck next to the trailer. If the truck and trailer are straight and the wheels are straight, the trailer will back up straight. Unfortunately, that isn't always a perfect case though. If the wheel alignment is bad, the terrain is sloping in either direction, or many other minor factors that can occur the trailer will drift minorly, but enough to cause it to go in an unintended direction. Like here, for example. So it's pushing the front of the trailer and causing the rear to pivot into that direction. The larger the angle, the more it pushes in that direction. We will show demonstrations of this throughout the video. When you see the truck here, backing up straight, it may get a slight angle to it, but use minor corrections to straighten it back out. The same factor occurs if the trailer goes to the right side of the truck. Best way to start is to get a good setup. Pull forward until the front axle of the trailer is even with or within a few feet of the cone at the front left side of the alley. Pay close attention not to run that cone over if the last person left the vehicle parked very close to that left line or if the truck wasn't parked straight. I recommend stopping and then turning all the way to the left to go up to the setup cone. Get within a few feet of it and stop. Put it in reverse, honk the horn. In the video being displayed, you can see the wheels are staying straight and the trailer is being pushed off to the vehicle's left side. The camera is facing backwards, but it doesn't change the fact that this is still the left side of the vehicle if you were driving it. 
Once the trailer reaches the point where it is going into the alley dock, begin to straighten out the truck and trailer by turning towards the trailer. One major way to tell that the trailer is going into the alley dock area is when you lose sight of the other cone on the right side of the alley. You should also pay attention to when you see the landing leg on the passenger side of the trailer. Once it becomes visible, make sure that you don't jackknife the truck. Let's see it from another angle. Now from the driver facing forward perspective, you see exactly what you'll see in the mirror. We are pulling up and the trailer is running parallel with the line at no risk of hitting it. You can turn slightly away from it if you were. Let's get that good setup and pull forward until the front axle of the trailer is even with the cone. Stop, turn all the way to the left, and get to the starting point. Backing up, we're going to show you that passenger side landing leg that is only visible from the mirror. Again, this is only to prevent oversteering or jackknifing, not to be relied on as some type of parking hack. As the driver goes back, notice that they are going back very slowly. They are having to imagine this graphic line by lining up the tires. As the trailer becomes less visible, they are beginning to lose sight. If you begin to lose sight, turn right. They're paying attention to how close it is to that line on the left side. If they want to push that trailer to the right to get it away from that line, they turn to the left. Every time you turn to the left, at some point you have to be aware that you may begin to lose sight. Here they see the trailer plain, and those tires are lined up perfectly, so it goes back straight. Let's see it from another angle. Here we have the truck it's driving forward. We're going to give you that center of axis line throughout the entire process here. The driver is stopped with it even at that pivot point. They turn left and they're heading all the way up to that alley dock setup cone. Now you see that the driver has come to a stop. They've put it in reverse and they're coming back. The wheels are straight at this point. The trailer is beginning to drift off and get that angle. You see the passenger side landing leg visible in the screen. They are ensuring that they don't oversteer by using that landing leg as a reference, but also knowing that the cone on the back side of the alley dock is the primary thing that lets them know that that trailer is feeding into that alley just how they want. They're beginning to straighten out. The trailer is on the left side of the truck. You always turn to the left. It's a side side back. That's how you're going to straighten out the truck and the trailer. Here, the tires are lined up perfectly. As the trailer slightly begins to go to that left side of the truck, the driver makes a minor correction. Minor angles require minor correction. For this last view, we're going to kind of let the picture tell its own story. The trailer is coming back there's still a lot of angle where that back tire is of the truck underneath the trailer. The trailer itself was about to hit the white line. A different way to straighten out if you've overcompensated is also by pulling forward. Here the driver seen that there was an issue. The trailer was going to hit the white line on the left side. They stopped, they straightened out the truck and they pulled forward. You see that it took the angle out from between the truck and the trailer and now the tires are perfectly lined up. As the driver comes back, they're just going to make sure that they can see the back of the trailer. Currently that back of the trailer is slightly out of scene, but it came back. Take the time now to pause the video and ask the instructor for any type of clarification you may need. We've basically covered how to straight back, but now we'll go into a little bit more detail about it. We'll skip all the alley dock part. Here you see the trailer, it's coming back, the truck, trailer, it's uneven. We're not going to put the graphic up, but now you see that the tires are lined up and it's going backward. The driver is using small movements because it's only a small angle between the truck and trailer. As soon as he lost sight, he chased it by going to the right. Now it's back in sight. The tires are lined up, straighten out the wheel. Transitioning, now you'll be able to see the wheel and how it's actually moving. Notice the small movements. Here, the driver sees that they are extremely far away from that cone. They're going to want to shift that thing over to the left. They turn to the right. The truck and trailer is getting a lot of angle between it. Here the driver slows down and comes to a stop because there's a lot of the side of the trailer that's visible. This is where it's going to be a guesstimate. You're always going to have to re-correct and do a lot of corrections because 
it's hard to tell what type of angle you're going to need to push the truck in a certain direction. As soon as the driver lost sight, they're turning back to the right. The back of the trailer is now visible where they can see the line and see where the trailer lies. The trailer is out of sight to the driver now. They're turning back to the right. But it was a small push, very slow. Never lose sight of the back of the trailer for more than two seconds. It's okay if it goes a little bit over there. Now from the mirror perspective, you can kind of see that corner marker light on the trailer. It's lined up with that tire. All the tires are lined up on the trailer and truck. I'm sure you're starting to notice that that truck tire is a vital tool in the mirror and making sure that you're going backwards straight. Making adjustments is vital. At some point when you come back, you may be like this driver. The trailer covers the left side cone, and even if he were to look backwards out the window or in the mirror, they wouldn't be able to see it. So he's pulling forward, but make sure that you pull forward straight. Never turn the wheel to the right side unless you're already pretty well in line with the alley dock. Once the back end of your trailer is even with the alley dock area, you can begin cutting it in. Make sure that you can see your cone the whole time. Here, you have the actual trailer. It's feeding into the alley dock. The trailer and the white line are almost running parallel, and the driver turns towards the trailer. Now, here's where we're going to get into synonyms. On many occasions, you're going to have instructors that say the same thing, but use different ways of saying it. In this video, I've been saying turn towards the trailer. In other cases, instructors may try to reach out to each individual person that understands differently. For example, someone may say, turn towards your problem. All that is saying is, the problem is that the trailer is about to hit a line on one side or the other. For example, if you continued going back and you were gonna hit the left line, in order to prevent that, you turn towards the left. You may also hear, chase the trailer. If the trailer is going towards the left, then you're just turning towards the left to chase after it. Get up underneath it. It's just saying that the truck and trailer are at an angle and the back part of the truck is sticking out from up underneath the trailer. There would be a tire exposed. They are basically just saying that if you turn towards the left, it will get back up underneath it. All of these things still mean the same thing. Just unfortunately, some of them don't give you a direction in which to turn the wheel. That's why in this video we use turning towards the trailer. You see the trailer in the left mirror? It's too easy. Turn left. 